Last week on March 14, the official Pi Day, Raspberry Pi launched a new model called Pi 3B Plus. E News Europe is talking with Eben Upton, founder and CEO of the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Eben, busy weeks for you. Absolutely, yeah. These are always busy. Launch weeks are always busy weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Extremely busy or just normal busy? Uh, extremely busy. I mean, I... normal busy is quite busy. Uh, <laughs> launch weeks are kind of. I mean, the nice thing about this is this was a because three B plus is a. I guess uh, it's an incremental improvement to Raspberry Pi 3. Yeah. We didn't have all of the trappings of a, of a big launch of a, like the Pi 2 or the Pi 1, the Pi 2 or the Pi 3 launches. Were very, uh, they, were, they had a lot of, uh, they had physical events associated with them. So we, we, had, um, uh, we, had to go to, we had to go physically go places and, and give press conferences. Um, Pi 3 we launched almost entirely, uh, Pi 3 B Plus we launched almost entirely online. So that, that, that helped keep the, uh, that helped keep the workload down yeah. a little bit. Yeah, and how has been the response so far? Yeah, re really good response actually. I mean, I think people, I think people appreciate the positioning of it. So you know, we we, we very consciously didn't, although we've uh, although we've upgraded pretty much every component of the device, we have a better power chain, better wired networking, better wireless networking, uh, and a faster CPU. Uh, we didn't position this as a Pi four. I think if we positioned it as a Pi four, people would have been maybe a little disappointed um, <laughs> with 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 you know it, it's. It would say it would be not a good, not not a good enough Pi four, but a very very good Pi three plus. Um, and so I think people appreciated that we that we'd use the yeah. plus uh, sort of mark uh, in, on this occasion. Yeah, on on, on positioning, um, will this, this this new upgraded or you know uh, the, the the plus version will it be interesting for a specific audience? Uh, is it still the the traditional audience you're? aiming with this product or are you slowly you know also looking at other um <laughs> professionals or uh, i think this one's particularly interesting there's there's obviously you know we we hope this is going to be interesting in the classroom we hope it's going to be interesting sort of hobbyists in their bedrooms yeah um but there are a lot of features in there which are going to be really useful for industrial um users so particularly the improved thermal management of the device um is is useful for people who want to use it in, inside a kind of a, a fairly constrained enclosure uh, and also some of the work we've done on the network side particularly the network booting so yeah. we've upgraded the uh we've upgraded the uh, the pxe network booting um uh, we pi 3 obviously was uh, the, the original pi 3b was the first product we made that uh, supported uh um, pxe network booting uh, when we shipped that into the wild obviously as you often do you discover a lot of little issues yeah. um and then we we've rolled up all the fixes for all the issues that we're aware of um, and those are in uh, those are those have made their way to 3B plus, and then of course power of Ethernet. You know we've added um, enough functionality on the main board to let us build a very low profile accessory to add uh, power of Ethernet. So when that ships in a month or two's time, um, I think that'll be very useful for quite a broad range of industrial customers. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. So th th these are actually the superpowers of this uh, this this new version of uh, Raspberry Pi. A lot of people will appreciate it, but especially the price, I think, yeah. because you know how is it yeah. possible? You know, so much computer stuff in such a little price. <laughs> yeah, and that's it. You know, so being able to hold the thirty-five dollar price is, is very important to us. So really, you know, I, I guess every single Raspberry Pi that we've launched, the one, the one with more memory, uh, the, the the original B, the one B plus, the two, the three, the three B plus, um, they're all at any given time they're the best product we can make in thirty-five dollars. Um, we were quite surprised actually by how far our, um, things have come. How 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 much we were able, given that we don't have a process node. Uh, there's no process node transition here, so this is still a 40 nanometer. The the uh, the CPU, the the application processor, is uh, still a 40 nanometer device. Yeah. We were actually quite surprised by how much we could squeeze. That that quite a lot of room that opened up to squeeze new uh, functionality to that cost point over the last two or three years. Okay, okay. Talking about applications, what is your favorite application you've seen so far, but you say, okay, you know, this was it exactly what I intended with uh, wow. the, the Raspberry Pi. Yeah. Well, kind of, kind of um, what's, what's lovely about the Raspberry Pi is that um, the best applications are the ones I least intended. So, okay. um, you know, we all know what we intended, um, but, you know, it's the things that come out of left field. So, I mean, I've mentioned the Cucumber one quite a lot. Um, there's a chap in Japan who taught a Raspberry Pi to recognize different grades of cucumbers to help on his, on his okay. user tensorflow. <laughs> he used Google, Google TensorFlow. Um, a Raspberry Pi and some, some uh, and, yeah. and, and the Raspberry Pi camera to automate part of its parents' cucumber farm. So there were some wonderfully kind of left field um, <laughs> things like that. The, the most amazing one, obviously, that we've heard of over the last couple of days is that what we didn't realize was that Stephen Hawking had been um, 
Stephen Hawking uh, for the last few months of his life, um, the speech synthesizer on his wheelchair um, was a um, uh, was a Raspberry Pi. Was actually okay. a Raspberry Pi. So he had this this piece of hardware from the 1980s that was long obsolete. Yeah. Um, and then a team, people have been able to create a software emulation of that with the intention of running it on the PC that he had on his wheelchair. But the the, the version that was running that's been running apparently since since the tail end of last year uh, was actually uh, on a separate device on, on a Raspberry Pi. So that was so it's those kind of things, particularly because he's you know he's probably the person whose book. Encouraged me to come to Cambridge in the first place. It's kind of it's kind of awesome that we were able to uh, to to render him a little bit of service there. Great, uh, great, you know, remembrance. Great compliment also for yeah. Raspberry Pi. That I don't dare to ask. You know, the, the, the Pi for well, you know, we, we 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 I think we threw people a little bit of a curveball this year by going out on Pi Day instead of on our birthday. So um, <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, obviously there'll be a Pi. Okay, um, okay, you know, excellent. Yeah, we'll 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 you know we'll. The nice thing about three plus is um, it, it kind of brings Pi three to a nice conclusion for us. It's a it's an optimize it's a it's a it, it's a uh, it polishes what, what's already a great. I mean, you know, Pi Pi three. I think we sold nine million of them. They've been very very popular. Sure. Um, they found homes in a lot of places. But what we've been able to do is we've been able to kind of polish the platform. And it's always kind of satisfying to polish it before we start thinking. Yeah, you know, we're free now to start thinking about Pi four. But before you start thinking about the next big thing, to go back to the thing that you're currently shipping and just apply that layer, uh, that kind of layer of polish to it, try and perfect it. So yeah, we're we're kind of free to think about Pi four now. I think it's going to take a little while for us to um, for us to decide what it is exactly we want to do. Um, yeah. But uh, the, the road, I guess, we kind of that road starts over the next you know two or three months. You know, nobody. Uh, it's the problem with this. You know, it's surprise. The numbers keep going up. You know. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know. I, I remember we sold a million Raspberry Pis in our first year, and we were we were pretty surprised. We were pretty impressed with that. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, for, we've had quite a few months now where we've sold over half a million Raspberry Pis just in a month. So you know, it's, it's right. all these things kind of yeah. it just gets more and more and more. Uh, thank you very much, Evan, for this quick update on the superpowers of the new uh, Raspberry Pi, the three B plus. Difficult to pronounce, mm -hmm. but. A little, bit of a, a little bit of a mouthful now. We're getting, <laughs> yeah. We can't really take this, you know. I, I think, you know, one of the things about the, one of the things about the, you know, the three, you can see that we've kind of turned all the dials up to 11, you know, the, the processor and the, you know, can make it in the no future product will have a more complicated name than Raspberry Pi 3 Model B+. Plus. Okay, okay, well, whatever it is, <laughs> keep us posted. Thank you very much for your time. Hope to see you soon. Yeah? Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye.